story began when Mr William Walker, uh, an amateur fossil hunter, was looking for fossils in a quarry near Dorking in Surrey. He found a very odd shaped ball of rock, he cracked it open with his hammer and out fell an enormous claw bone. Shortly after, his son-in-law brought the specimen to the museum to get it identified. As you can see, it's a huge curved claw bone and it's much bigger than any other one that I'd ever seen. So it must have belonged to something we knew nothing about. What we'd found was probably the most complete dinosaur that's ever been found in Britain. And it was actually quite unique. There was no other meat-eating dinosaur who looked anything like it. We decided to call it Baryonyx, which means heavy claw because of its huge claw bone. And Walker Eye, its second name, was in honor of Mr. Walker. Here's the front of the snout of Baryonyx, and you can see it's very long and low. And actually the end of the snout is quite spoon-shaped, and it has long pointed teeth. And in the lower jaw, which was also very, very long and slender, it had a spoon-shaped end which matched the same structure in the upper jaw. And these two jaws together suggested that this looked rather like a fish-eating crocodile. The teeth of Baryonyx are very sharp and pointed, but they're actually quite round, and they have a fluted pattern along one side. This kind of tooth is much more suited to actually gripping and, and holding slippery prey, such as fish. The really clinching piece of evidence that Baryonyx was a fish eater was when we found some semi-digested fish scales actually inside where the stomach would have been in life. You can see here on this block there's a large piece of bone. That's one of Baryonyx's ribs. And lying on top of the ribs are a patch of dark blackish brown objects with little shiny patches on them. And those are actually semi-digested fish scales so here is some really good evidence that Baryonyx ate fish, and these were probably the remains of its very last meal. Baryonyx was a really significant discovery because it was the first time we'd realized that there was a particular group of specialized fish-eating dinosaurs, which we now called spinosaurs. And because the skeleton of Baryonyx was so complete, it's been the key to interpreting much more fragmentary remains of other spinosaurs that have turned up in Europe, in Asia, in Africa, in South America, and also now in Australia. So the whole of a big research area now on fish-eating dinosaurs across the world all began because of a chance find of a claw bone in a quarry in Surrey. <laughs>